I was uh, I was at the Comic Con. I know, and I did uh, speak with the Iron Sheik after I saw them wheelchair him to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> that was sad. He kept yelling at me, yes. asking if I brought him his Bex. <laughs> his, oh, really? His you, Bex beer. They uh, they you went to Comic Con. They wheelchaired him. Yeah, to see who? Yeah, it just went. Oh, okay. I just figured you know something. Wait I've never been to one minute. of these Why things. Why would you just go? What no, was your I, real motive? No, no, I swear to you. You always have I, a motive. I've never been to one of those things. And you just decided to and go. And I figured, you know something? L let me go. It's it's close enough. It's not like i got to go to Jersey. Where was it? Which I usually... It was, it was over great. at the pier. It was... It was. I, I should have went. Pier, uh, it was great. Yeah. It was close to my house. You loved it, right? They're fun. It was fun. It was like hysterical to just watch some of these fucking people. This was a real good one, too. Oh, my God. Shatner... But uh, I miss Shatner. Adam by the West. Way, by the way, Shatner gets eighty dollars a pop for a fucking photo. Those, some of those things are just it, it's 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 pornographic. There's a, a chiller theater coming up in two weeks. They have Patrick Stewart, oh, and you shit. can have your Patrick Stewart photo op order it in advance. It's a hundred dollars to take a, to take a photo with Patrick Stewart. Every every oh, camera hell. click, he must just be like, okay, that's yeah. one hundred, <laughs> two hundred. Do they sign things? I would have got my Shatner. I, I love going to. Oh, you can get a signature too from Shatner. That I believe was fifty dollars. Fifty cents, yeah. right? Where, yeah, where's, fifty cents. Where's no, fifty dollars? Where's Chula's Theater going to be? It's out in Jersey. Oh, Jer fuck, yeah, that one's go? in Jersey. Yeah, let's go. I'm for real. Give me a fucking ticket. I've never Mickey been to one of these things. Mickey fucking Rooney, my friend. Mickey Rooney and Margaret. Richard, Richard Dreyfus. Dreyfus a lot Peter of Fonda. This is the. Yeah, this wow. is more celebrity uh, oriented. This is Anne Margaret's first convention. Oh, great. I'll tell Linda you, Blair. <laughs> All right. I, I, one thing, I because I've never been to anything Bowser like this. Shana Barbara <laughs> Feldon. Wow, that's an old picture. Howard Hespin from WKRP. Oh, boy. Dawn Wells from Gilligan's Island. I want to yes. see her and just squeeze her tits and yell, nah. Davy yeah. Jones. <laughs> You always see Humba, Mickey Dolan's at these. Never Davy Jones. That's Mickey a big Dolan's. One. I saw Mickey Dolan's there. Yeah, uh, he was there uh, Saturday. Conrad. Oh, Conrad. Bro. Uh, Who was the biggest celebrity you saw there at uh, this the past weekend? Biggest celebrity I saw. Well, let me see. Billy D. Williams, pretty big. Yep. Lando Calrissian. Fuck yeah. You know? Ed Fur Ed Ed Edward Furlong. Edward Furlong was there. Oh man. Uh, Linda Hamilton was uh, was there. I saw Fez on the way out, and he was Fez Watley. He was, Fez was the biggest celebrity there, no doubt in my mind. No, he was excited because he got a picture from Julie Newmar. Julie Newmar and, and had her sign to Fez Watley. Thanks for everything, Julie. Newmar. Julie Newmar. Yes. Wow, he actually got that one. It was the big one for him. I uh, there was wow. Lou Ferrigno was there <laughs> and some dumb fucking woman. <laughs> She's standing in front of Lou. Well, deaf and dumb. <laughs> Lou, is, <laughs> Lou is signing something, so his head's down. So obviously you can't read lips. And she goes, um, she goes, I enjoyed you so much as the Hulk. Ew. And he just continued to sign. <laughs> no clue. It's like, dummy, he's deaf. But yeah. did she actually just say that to him? I, I know, yes. What else could he do, have you enjoyed him as? There, it is so sad to walk through some of those aisles and see nobody yeah. paying attention to some of those people. Like, I saw one guy just with a plate of bad food, and he's eating at his little desk. Tom and Wopat was internet surfing. When I <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, really? Well, yeah. let me tell you, John Schneider and Tom Wopat were there. The same time, right next to each other. <laughs> actual audio yes, of their booth. Actual audio, and uh, surprisingly long line for Ric Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair had a huge That's not a surprise. Ric Flair getting a, a giant line for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, E Rock spoke to the people who uh, who do ringside collectibles, which is what Ric Flair was promoting the time he called uh, up, and they are extremely pissed at this show. Very good. Yes. Very Wait, what good. What happened? You know, remember Ric Flair called up promoting yeah. that Woo! ringside fest? Yeah. yeah. E Rock and me pretended we were yeah. you and Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. The franchise. Rick, Ric Flair and ringside collectibles are very upset with this. Yeah. Show. How about they take it up with us? You know something that has an effect on my life. Really? Right. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. They're not. Not I, at all. We didn't even know that he was Carbone mad at us. Carbone was there. <laughs> how about you take it up with us? From so Goodfellas. I met him. Like, and Big Pussy. Yeah. You know, was yeah. there. You know what's funny? It's like I, I, I was. It's like the little, not the little guys, but the guys you don't expect. I was walking through and I saw a guy. Who co-starred in used cars with fucking Kurt Russell? Thing? The guy, uh, the guy, uh, th that's a red fucking car. Uh, oh yeah. yeah that, oh that guy, Rudy. Right. That, Rudy that, that's a red car, Rudy. No, it's not. There's primer under it. <laughs> I fucking told that guy how much I couldn't stop telling him how fucking great I he's thought he was. Like a right, shut up. No, he, he, he's like, oh, I love Lucky Louie. It was fucking. I was so happy. It, Mutual admiration. It, and it brings nice. up something, Jimmy, because of you. I, 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 I hate you. 
Why? Oh. Because I want to see used cars because I saw it maybe, I don't know, many, many years right. ago. I'm, I want to see it because of all the references you make on the show. I can't find a I'll copy. I have a copy. I can't find a copy of used cars. Can you bring it in tomorrow? Yeah, 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 man. I just saw it recently and I can't I, remember i got to do or Netflix where. or something. i got to start doing that shit. There's some yeah. very funny moments in used cars. Yeah, I know. I want to see it because yeah. you rave about this movie. Fucking big, big fucking Frank McRae pushing a little white guy. I don't want to look inside. <laughs> oh, just get in the motherfucking car. <laughs> 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 you know, oh, you know, it was great. Uh, who's the who's the black guy from Ghostbusters? Oh, the black oh, guy. Uh, I, I just know him yeah, as the black guy from the Ghostbusters. Black guy from Ghostbusters. Winston. It's, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. well, he's the black guy from Ghostbusters. He's a, and, and in Oz, I saw him. Um, yeah, uh, BC. No, Leo Glenn, Warden Leo Glenn. I I saw him uh, walking into the concession area <laughs> with a who you gonna call. <laughs> Get the fuck out shirt out on, no, he did. and then that's just for when he's walking around. When he gets behind the uh, his little counter to sign things, he puts on the jumpsuit. It was the twenty fifth anniversary. anniversary. Yeah, there's not enough money. Who are you gonna call? My agent. So would you rather live like in a in a shanty town than do that? Uh, <laughs> you, shanty town. You gotta have some fucking pride. It's man. a little <laughs> embarrassed. Like I said, there are some people that are just like um, a Playboy playmate from fucking forever ago, and but to be known for one thing, and then you're putting on the fucking uniform, and then the kid Oof. that was Boba Fett, it was Jango Fett's kid. Yeah. He was there, <laughs> and he's like grown up now. Yeah, he doesn't he's not even look like, like a little kid. He doesn't no. even look like him. It's like they can put any kid there. <laughs> yeah, no matter. I can't wait to go to this pathetic fucking event. Well, it, they're fun, yeah. dude. You'll no, love I'm you, going. Bernie, Bernie <laughs> okay. Hudson. I'm going. Bernie yeah. Hudson. Oh, he was in fucking Harlem Nights. He was. In, wasn't he? In, of um, course, he was in a few things. Great but, Santini. But who are you gonna call? I'm going. He's the Great man. Santini. He was Tumor. Yeah. Didn't, ma didn't matter. Him and Lou Ferrigno both gave me the old Passeroni for an interview. No, oh, really. You. Yeah, Ernie, oh, there, there Ernie look. Hudson. There he is. That's look, Ernie right. Hudson. See? He's, <laughs> he's thank you, Rick and Rocco. Suit. No one's listening to me, but that's Ernie yeah. Hudson. When, when's the other one? When's the next one, Sam? It's the weekend of Halloween. Yeah, it's we're, two weeks. We're going oh, in town. We're going. Let's God, go. I guess, I let's go to show and stop. Let's go to that <laughs> one in Jersey. No one cares. <laughs> we'll go to that one in Jersey. Where is it? Sea Caucus or Cherry Hill? Cherry Hill, I think. That's we're not going to that one then. Might not be Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill's way the fuck down there. Parsippany. 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 It's near St. Caucus. It's not far. I'll okay, see you back in St. All right, we'll find out. Parsippany? <laughs> we going on, what day is Dreyfus and Nicky Rourke there? <laughs> Saturday. Uh, Let's go to Saturday. We got Larry. Left out before an hour, also. Before an hour was up. The thing went from, like, noon till 7, if you could actually hang around that long and yeah. in that atmosphere. And Shatner left before <laughs> 1. They had all the pictures that he took laid out on the table for people to pick them up. And Jess and me were looking at him. He didn't smile in not one picture. No, he just looks miserable. There's one picture of a big, tall, fat guy in a Star Trek shirt next to William Shatner. Oh, God. And no Shatner kidding. couldn't have looked more miserable. <laughs> Why is he doing it then? He don't need the money. He gets paid a lot for those things. Yeah, man. Oh, let's say you do a, well, yeah. He couldn't do a thousand an hour, but let's say you do like a hundred and. And well, I think they just for being there. Yeah, yeah, I think they get paid the appearance fee, and then the company who pays him makes all the money for the photos. Makes the money for the yeah. photos. So he's got a huge appearance fee, I'm sure. All right, let oh, me, let me say hi to Larry King. King. Oh, and the black guy from uh, the Warriors. Of course. <laughs> Had to bring that up. <laughs> There's a lot of people there. Yeah, it's great. Larry! Hello! Hi, Larry. Larry. I just wanted to let you know you're pronouncing it wrong. It's Lou Ferragamo. <laughs> we all remember. Uh, all right. Lou Ferragamo. I know. You played the holic. <laughs> <laughs> the holic. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> all Harry. right, so we go back to what, October? <laughs> <Holic>. Yeah. <laughs> back to October. And it was Tommy Rumble. But I think Tommy, I'm getting info. Tommy. Hold on. Poor Tommy. Uh, Aaron in Virginia Beach. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey. Good evening. Hey, Jimmy, I saw you on Saturday. Great show. Lucky you. Dude, everyone is calling. We don't have <laughs> time you. to go to the phone calls, but just want to acknowledge it that everyone's saying that you just killed him. Yeah. Yeah. Were you at the sure earlier The Late can. Show? Um, I was the 8 o'clock show on Saturday night. The Late and Show I got think... stopped. I'm, I'm fucking killing. In a minute, by 30 minutes in, the lights all go on, the mic cuts, and you hear, eh, eh. And the fucking smoke alarm went off in the building. <laughs> oh, fuck. And the way it's controlled yeah. is the mic's cut when the smoke alarm goes off. So the lights went on for 20 fucking minutes. This was like, meh, Oh, meh. man. Totally stopped the show. I played with the crowd for about 
I guess five minutes. Then Kenny came on stage. He goes, look, it's going to be like 10, 12 minutes because they have the fire departments to come. So I told the audience, like, look, when, once it's quieted down and everything, I'll come back up. So it's, I've never had to do that in a show in 20 long. years. How, how long were you on, st on stage before it happened? I was 30 minutes in. It was oh, great. The God. crowd just, was amazing. Just starting to oh. rock. It was fucking stop the show. And then uh, it finally, uh, the noise finally stopped in another five minutes. So it was probably about 17 minutes I was off Did stage. Did it fuck up your flow? No. The MC went back up for like 30 seconds or a minute and said, all right, we'll get it. I went right back up for another 20, 25 minutes. Crowd was amazing. That's one of the best clubs I've done in years. Wow. Funny bone in Virginia Beach. Beach. Funny bone, yeah. You'll be back. Cool. So Sorry, miss. Go. That's, Aaron, go. That's okay. I'm, I'm glad I saw the Saturday show, the 8 o'clock show then. Why? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go to a show where something like that happens. You're seeing something very <laughs> different. Yeah, I wish someone had a tape of that because that was actually that I'm was sure different. someone does. I got a picture with you, too. Thanks for that. I remember you. Ooh. Are you hot? Um, I get. I put my picture on his Facebook page. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. Hey, Sam's back in studio. Thank God, I say. <laughs> well, he was at Comic Con or Comic Con. How do you say it? Well, this was uh, the Big it? Apple Con. The Big Apple Con. Big Apple Con. But technically, it's Comic Con. Comic Con. Comic Con convention. And you took E Rock well, to help you with some um, celebrity interviews. Throughout the week, Steve kept mentioning to bosses and stuff that Sam and Eric were going to Comic-Con, which I took umbrage with because I knew going into this thing that I would be going to do interviews and stuff, and Eric would just be distracted by the goodies the whole time. By the goodies? What kind of get goodies? All distracted? He, well... What kind of horrible stuff could you get at this thing? All, well, there's all, everything. You can get everything. At, this was a giant Comic-Con. And, and Eric kept getting distracted in the toy sections. Can we get E-Rock in here, please? I went with I Jess. Know, can we? How big's the door? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I went with Jess in the morning before Eric got there. And then mm. apparently Jess had to go do something. Ah. And then Eric had to come in and fill in oh, for her. Oh, but you're not suggesting that apparently you spent the rest of the afternoon with his... A fiance. Well, I'm not. It's not my fiance. Just long know. term. What? I thought Girl, it was. Uh, ready, do, I thought you guys were getting if married. If you do a little investigating, you could see exactly what she was doing Saturday night. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. She might be in one of my videos. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you look closely. Didn't realize oh, she was a hockey shit, fan. Yo. I know you're not, so I invited her. Apparently, she's more of a hockey fan than Comic Con by day and Jersey All Pro Wrestling by night. Yeah, the I would fucking say listeners, so. man, they pick up on everything. Somebody picked up on. The Are you serious? She was in one of the videos really quickly. I don't even know what she looks like. <laughs> no, I really don't know. E Rock, hello. You were distracted <laughs> by the shiny toys. Yeah. How many times did I have to yell at you, Eric? We're going. Come on, Eric. We're here to work. We're here to work. It was during the downtime when you weren't interviewing anybody. So I was like, oh, yeah, let me right. just look right here. Okay. What toys did you see that you liked? <laughs> There was a lot of them. <laughs> Tell me one or two. <laughs> Tell me what, what, which He-Man character were you looking for? Ah, oh. I want Skeletor. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who's the less known character that you were looking for? Holy oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moss Man. <laughs> <Will you> shut <laughs> up? What is fucking Moss Man? <laughs> It's part of the Masters of the Universe. Wait, that's distracting. That we'll is <laughs> amazing that people were able to figure that out. There's your... There's like four pictures of There's her online. Girl. How do they know what she looks like? There's, There's the a girl in one of my videos. That's her right oh, there. Wow. Why was she with you at a <laughs> hockey game? She didn't want to go to wrestling after Comic-Con, so she left Comic-Con early and said she's going to the mall in Long Island and an Islanders game, which she's never watched a hockey game in 15 years. But how what is she, what is, was it coincidentally enough that she's right next to yes. Opie? <laughs> coincidentally, she was sitting next to him and went to the mall with him. Yes, coincidentally, wow. and he drove her. Coincidentally, oh. <laughs> wait, well, where was your, where was your wife? Was she there? Shit. Yeah, she's there. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got one of those things yeah. going on, apparently. Wow! Didn't know how this. Uh, at one point, it was uh, you know two pairs. And then all of a sudden, it's just. Damn. I know you. Sam, I know threesome. you don't like sports, so I I saved you the trouble. Oh, great! Yeah, you and Iraq e hate sports. I was doing work for actually this show that you're the host <laughs> of, while you decided to hit up the mall in the Islanders game with uh, my lady. Wow! <laughs> I thought yeah. you were kidding until I saw the video. <laughs> no. No. And how did people feel? Oh, look at look at where poor uh, how Sam you get a, is. How do you get a picture of old Opie? No, that's <laughs> oh, God. That's how Lex Luger, the total package. Oh, that's exactly oh, how the I'm total way. package. Yeah. Yes. Um, we were talking sports, and E Rock came in this morning. and Goes, oh, sports, great, and then walked out. <laughs> you don't like sports at all? 
Uh, I, I like hockey now and then, but that's about it. No, Angela. Well, she got me into it. Your but girl loves hockey. If it wasn't for hockey. that, I'd not be into it. She's sports. a big hockey yeah. fan. She so loves those Eric used first. to be a Mets fan, and that went away. So. Mm -hmm. Went away. Was she happy you got Moss Man? Was she psyched? <laughs> Oh, yeah, get back to that, because we were looking at the video. We were distracted. So what happened? Yeah, he was... Uh, he bought the toy Moss I, Man? What's saying, Moss Man? Come on, Eric. We're going. We're here to work. Let's do some interviews. And he was never behind me, because he was at the toy area, the toy booths, buying Moss Man. How big was the Moss Man you bought? He's, uh... Small. How much? About four inches. Oh, uh, ten bucks. Where are you going to put it? With the rest of my collection. Which is where? <laughs> collection. I know where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> big, in the big green storage thing behind the apartment complex. You got you just <laughs> shitty toys all over your apartment. Shitty toys. That's all. true. Yes, they're not you do. shitty toys. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Jesus. Well, most of them are in storage, but they're uh, the ones that I have aren't shitty. You're a hoarder. <laughs> There's stuff I had from when I was a kid. I just never. What's got your rid prized of. possession? And yeah, then we'll decide the, if it's shitty or not. What's the best? I'll, I'll give you a thing chance. You have. What's the one thing you can't you can't uh, lose? Wait, uh, we'll get rid of. <laughs> 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 he knew that was. Ah, it's gonna hurt. That's the formula. It works. <laughs> That's the formula. It works. Right. What's yeah. What's the one thing? That you um, lost this, or it's not really a toy. It's a big uh, hand autograph thing from Matt Groening from The Simpsons. He was upset. That's pretty cool. Though. He was upset because he went we to him up on that one. Well, he went to, he went to one of the toy booths. And he was upset because the Ned Flanders action figure that he wanted was oh, too yeah. expensive. How much was it? They wanted 25 bucks, but the, the, it's all bent up and everything. I wasn't going to pay for that. <laughs> Where do you put these things? All over your bedroom and stuff? No, the, the Simpsons. <laughs> They're the in Simpsons the bathtub stuff? with him. <laughs> no, the Simpsons stuff is uh, hanging on a wall. Okay. In one, uh, one of the rooms of my apartment. How many rooms do you have? The Simpsons stuff is cool. I have uh, four rooms. Big Kev's on the line. Where we, how do we get to Big Kev? Uh, Big Kev, what's up, buddy? I heard something about uh, shitty toys all over an apartment. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> figured he better call. Hi, Big Kev. I thought maybe you were talking about me. I just no. don't understand that culture, to be honest with you. I, mean, I know you don't. Yeah. I know That's it's fine. huge. I know, I know, I know these things do very well, but I just mm -hmm. can't be bothered. Just like e can't be bothered with sports, even though he was at the Yankee game uh, yeah. over the I, weekend. I, that I, wasn't, can't understand I was offered a ticket to go. Huh? Oh. I can't understand being a Mets or an Islanders fan. Uh, I, I, at this point, Kev, I can't understand it myself. So there we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I respect. Uh, I respect it in, in somewhat. Did uh, Did Ant talk about uh, him holding some very expensive comic books while he was there? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what did you hold? Did I hold uh, some expensive fucking comic book? We went to a uh, comic book uh, little booth. There and uh, wow, these guys are back there with suits on and everything. Everybody They're else exclusive is... dealer. Yes, yes. And um, uh, what was some of the uh, uh, amazing comics that I was shown? Uh, I I uh, I gave Anthony a Detective Comics number twenty-seven, which is the first appearance of Batman. First appearance of Batman. So this, this well, <laughs> no, can I, I? I have to say, I'm not even trying to make jokes. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So until you uh, until ask you the, the price. price. Yeah. Oh. What how kind of much condition? would you assume? All right, how much would you assume that that would go for? Well, with inflation, it was ten cents when it all was right. bought. With inflation, five dollars seventy-five cents. Okay, five seventy-five. Okay, okay. uh, Let me hold, guess. Hold on, uh, Jimmy's going to guess it. I have a question. What kind of condition was it in? It was a four point five, Jimmy. That's that's mint. Jimmy knows four point five out of ten. Oh, okay, no, I don't know. I don't know a point. I know mint, near mint. So it's like what? Good? Is that considered good? That's, That's uh, the yeah, cover. slightly above, but yeah. And it was a restored copy. Which means what? Which means that uh, professional people had done some restoration work on on mostly the cover and perhaps a few pages on the inside. Oh, okay, so it's doctored. Oh, oh uh, doctored. Well, we prefer restored. I would say up uh, to play conservative. Four million eight hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. It sure. might as well have been. No, I'm going to guess. Uh, uh, say fifteen thousand. Okay, it was forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand dollars. Wow. For yeah. what? <laughs> what? Like, what do you do with it? Well, I put it in my uh, den. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. What no, was it I in? did what? not buy it. What were they? Hold? Kev, what was I, it being stored? I would in? put it in one of my bathrooms. Yeah, put it so in the something to read. Put it on the shitter. Jimmy, what'd you say? What was it being stored in? Not just a plastic fucking bag. No, it's in a. Uh, it's what we refer to as a comic coffin. It's a plastic case that is not intended to be opened. 
It can be open, but it's not intended to be open. It's so, hard plastic. Right. And how, if you shake it around, will the magazine shake? or is Absolutely it... not. Wait, so you can't even read it? <laughs> no, it's not for reading. Opie, you know at, this point, at this point, Opie, <laughs> there have been so many reprints of that story, you could easily find one in a place. Yeah. That is a place. You wanna... but, but if I'm spending 45000 I want to read that copy. I mean, no. you could, I'm, like I said, you, you could open it, you could leaf through it, but you, you run the risk of your $45,000 uh, comic becoming thirty-eight thousand. Would it Would it make you really nervous if I was eating it while I was having s salsa and chips and <laughs> drinking, <laughs> coffee, mine? drinking coffee? If and... it was mine, uh, oh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be anywhere near <laughs> you anybody. just lose your mind yet? <laughs> eating over it, you're just like, <laughs> right. eat chips and salsa. You're flipping pages. Oops. You yeah. flip a page too fast, it rips. You're like, it rips oops. a little odd. <laughs> well, oops. what are you going to do? Ant uh, also had a, uh, a Superman number one in his hand. Wow. Yes. What is I'm going to guess, uh, let me guess on that one. Now, what, what kind of condition? That was a little bit better, Jimmy. Like a six? Uh, I, yeah, probably more like a five, five, maybe a six. Can I guess $60,000? Uh, yes, but you'd be wrong. It was only forty three thousand. Yes, forty three thousand. Oh, yeah. More expensive, huh? Forty three. Well, it was obviously it was going to be about the same price if it's uh, the first time Superman no, appeared in first. Quite time. amazing. No, sir. It's the it's oh. the first issue of <laughs> Superman in his own magazine. Oh. Superman originally appeared oh. in Action oh, Comics. Oh, oh, yes, that, that yes. would have been proving I'm not a geek. How much is that one? Uh, I it would depend on condition, Jimmy, and I would mm, say your guess indeed. sixty would probably go for one that was about a three or a four. Now, Kev. What's yes. the most uh, valuable thing you own? The most valuable thing I own? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. What's the most what expensive you don't know? Comic? I don't know. How about give us one, one thing that, you know, if there was a fire, you'd run in and, and make sure you grab it. If, I was a, if there was a fire, I'd burn up in <laughs> the house. Whatever was burning on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? What? It said if there was a fire in my house, I'd probably die trying to put it out. Oh, all right. Oh. I have, uh, I have a lot of original art, slowness. OP. Yeah, um, and that 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 is to me that is what is uh, the most expensive. Now the uh, the R two D two that was there yeah, was uh, the amazing. Little kid on it. The little kid on it, dressed as a little Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and he was riding it. Tiny it, little dork. It was ju ju it was a, a real size. You know, it was it was like it was from the movie. It was better. Yeah. Than the prop they used in the movie. It, it did was everything. better than all of them they've used for the movies. Yeah, quite amazing. All re re radio controlled. Were you impressed that by anything there? I was impressed over the by that. Yeah, I was impressed by that. I was impressed by the fact that William Shatner was gone in less than an hour. <laughs> and uh, I saw him on Sunday. Oh, did you? Yes. Is he miserable? He was, for, he was there for slightly less than an hour. On was Sunday. he totally miserable with his eighty dollars pictures? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, there, there wasn't a lot of people online, which is very surprising. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, for, at eighty bucks a clip. Uh huh. He's not the most expensive, and you think he would be? Who would be? Mark Hamill. Really? At a hundred and fifty a pop, last I heard. Wow, that's stupid. I know. Skywalker. People pay it. Who cares he's Luke Skywalker, Captain fucking Kirk. Do you get a picture with that, too, or is that extra? No, you get a picture with that. Oh, okay. All right, Kev, we got to get to these interviews. Okay, one yes. more question for Kev. What's the yes. most expensive comic, Kev? Is it action number one? I would say, on a guess, I would say probably, yeah. But how much is a mint condition of that? I have never. I don't think one. I don't think there's a known mint copy of that book in existence. Somewhere. What's the most expensive yeah. copy? About ninety. Somewhere in one of these apartments with a dead person. Pro yeah. um, uh, Jimmy, I've heard of one as high as a seven, seven and a half, and it went for. I can't. I, I know it was over a hundred thousand, but I don't remember how much. Oh, okay. Wow. For a goddamn comic book. I think I got one of those in my attic. It's insane. Nice. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go find it. I'll give it to you guys. What yeah. the hell? Oh, cool. Yeah. Not, All right, well, enjoy you, the... Uh, uh, I was uh, by Sam when he did some of those interviews. They're very funny. Oh, good. Thank I can't you, Big wait. Kev. Thanks, okay, Big Kev. Take care, guys. Good talking to you. It's been a while. Bye. All right, there goes Big Kev. Yeah, so Big Kev there uh, yeah. at the comic... Uh, the Big Apple comic convention, whatever they, you want to call everyone it. Everyone knows that idiot at those places. Oh, my God. I was walking around there like... Uh, my, I couldn't believe it. My apartment was infested with those things. They're Ew. called silverfish. 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 Yeah, I've had them, too. Silverfish. Oh. Ugh, they're they're good eating, though. Yeah, yeah. All My right. cat likes them. Silverfish, <laughs> really? They, when, when, when I lived with Don't Florentine in that. Jersey, it would <laughs> rain, and they would come up from the basement. We lived on the second floor. I'd have three or four of those on my bedroom wall at a time. Were you on Paper Street? <laughs> Come on. No? <laughs> Where's that? Oh, you didn't see Fight I did Club? see it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah, he was beating himself up. And the basement was flooded, you know. 
You didn't like Fight Club? I liked it. I loved it. I didn't love it. Book's better. No, the movie's great. Book's better. Movie's great. Book's better. Book's great Infinity. Book's better. Movie's great. Book's better. I said Infinity. Don't fight. Plus Book's one. Better. Book's better. Fuck. <laughs> Guys, don't fight. <laughs> What's the haps at the Big Apple Comic Con? Yeah. Where E-Rock did not help you at all because he was looking at all the toys. No, please. Jess was a huge help, and then E-Rock came and slowed the process down entirely. E-Rock's just a big, sweet kid. He is. He's E-Rock like pinches is cheek. retarded. He's like a retard at those places. He looks at right. shiny things. He was Ooh. very, I forgot to tell you, he was very upset that uh, he found the Transformers toy that he had been searching for <gasps> oh. in the box. It was shiny and came with, I think, two cassette tapes. Wow. Like, but uh, Four cassette tapes, but it cost $100, and little E-Rock had ran out of pocket money by the oh, time we got there. Oh, E-Rock. He, was he ran money. out of pocket money. <laughs> pocket <laughs> money? Fucking <laughs> E-Rock. <laughs> he ran, ran out of pocket money because he oh, got that... pictures with too many of his favorite oh, celebrities. Oh, does that make me happy? Who's get pictures? With? That makes me so happy. <clears throat> I got uh, photos with uh, the Duke boys. Yeah. Tom yes. Wolf had oh. and Snyder. He started Luke. Duke. Were there? But they wouldn't let you take them together. Well, of course not. Why? Why would they? Because well, you, you got to pay for each one separately. So you had to go. Together. You had to go to a certain time and pay a certain company to uh, get the combo to, pick. Go fuck the if you went straight to their Enough. booth, you couldn't. How much was the combo already? Pick? Yes, Daniel. Sure. It was. Uh, it was like eighty-five dollars just to get both of them in a photo together, and you don't get to take the photo. They just print it out, and you don't get a digital copy or anything. Combo people are the worst. It is the biggest ripoff on the face of the earth. Why? I went, I went to Monster Mania a few yeah. years back when they were doing the big... I can't believe you guys didn't talk about this on the show, because they did the big They Live reunion. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're kidding me. Rowdy Roddy? Yeah. And fucking... Uh, the black guy. The black guy <laughs> from, from Platoon. Well, anyway, so you buy your 8x10, let's say, with Roddy Piper first. So you, it's 20 bucks for the 8x10, 20 bucks for the autograph. So now you bring that 8x10 over to Black Guy from They Live. Now you figure, all right, well, he's just going to charge me 20 for the autograph. Yeah. No, he charges you another 20 because you brought your own item for yes. him to oh, sign. Yeah, they do that, oh, too. fuck yourself. And they also, like, oh, if you do a man. combo picture with two people, already. you got to right. pay. It's one picture. I understand. But you still have to pay for two. You Dude, I understand to a point, like, these guys want to make a little money and they're not doing that well, but that's just fucking ripping off your own fans. It used to be... It's disgusting. It used to be, look, you appreciated an actor or sports star, whatever the fuck he is, for his work. You, you were a fan of his work. And in exchange for that loyalty, he or she would give you an autograph or a picture. Right. It was a, a little uh, trade-off for your loyalty and, and, and fandom. And it's turned into this thing where now they charge outlandish prices to make for buck. these fucking autographs that you're not going to be able to sell for more money. Sorry. It just ain't going to happen. You got to just, it's like you got to go to a place where it's like you get ripped off. You just, I mean, I mean there's got to be like better companies that have like celebrities come in. <laughs> Can't think of one. And, um,. Get the picture taken. I can't think of a company. Yeah, yeah. Say that. I mean, I don't really know. Where you get the best celebrities? I don't know. Oh, really? I wonder who would, would it be have an that? emporium. I don't know. I you don't know, know. It's funny. You should ask that. Of it is an emporium. Yes. What kind mm. of emporium? Ted's famous <laughs> people photograph emporium. <laughs> oh, you name them, I can get them. <laughs> yeah, Ted. Yes. Like who? Who do you want? Uh, I have uh, Trevor Burbick. <laughs> Trevor Burbick. <laughs> Trevor Burbick. Wow. What about Babe Ruth? That's a biggie. He's dead, Gregory. It's only living people right. who will come in and you can take photographs with them. <laughs> All right, let's say I want... Uh, Combinations, whatever you need. I want an A-list star. I want uh, Tom Cruise. He... <laughs> He's not available. <laughs> Why is he available? He's busy shooting a movie. Uh, well, but that's just it. You being the company, you're supposed to find no, out when... No, we don't, but from Jerry Maguire, we have the lady who played one of the secretaries of the opening scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when, when he's walking through and saying hello, she was hello number four. <laughs> that isn't even that yes. isn't even off track of what these fucking Helen, conventions Helen are, by the way. Crump yeah. Helen Crump Helen Crump Plimpkin. Dude, that's exactly what these <laughs> things are I know you're not even 90 really. percent of the people there are like you know person number eight right yeah she'll wave in a picture of Tom Cruise like she did in the movie <laughs> that picture is 722 dollars <laughs> shipping costs <laughs> who uh, who are some of the celebrities that had no line well Brandy Roderick Brandy Roderick I think that's her name from the celebrity that? apprentice she was the, the hot blonde. blonde right from Playboy yeah. 
She no had, one was online to get her autograph? I was there for like four hours back and forth, and I never saw Oh, it. my God. How embarrassing. Mickey Dolan's had a surprisingly short line, because he's Mickey usually... Mickey Dolan's, uh, no right, one Most there. of his fans are dead by now. He had a whole fucking bunch of, like, monkeys drum heads up there that were signed and drumsticks. The, and problem, fucking... the problem with Mickey Dolan's, and a lot of those guys fall into this problem, uh -oh. He's he used to have a long line. But he's at every convention on the East Coast. So no one gives a flying fuck. Everybody's already got Mickey Dolan. They Dolan's. got it. They have already. Yeah. Don't need it. Who else? Uh, Virgil. <laughs> no line. Virgil again. Virgil is there again? He's super Virgil. Wrestling superstar. <laughs> is this the latest Virgil? <laughs> yes. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase and Virgil. And even, well, no, Ted DiBiase did not show up. Yeah, he they, they oh. advertised he was uh, coming, but he was never booked to be and, there. And he's if got it, one banner that just says... Yes. Yeah. If it sounds like Iraq's e pissed off, uh -oh. it's because he had his million dollar championship belt ready to get signed by Ted DiBiase. Oh, he the there? million dollar man signing the million dollar belt. Jesus I didn't Christ, bring it there. Did he you wasn't going to be there. He was oh, going I to bring it so. there. I was going oh. to. He go. had it in the office. I didn't know. I didn't know Black Earl was Virgil. <laughs> no, that's Virgil. It's a different guy. Oh, I know. Oh, Look at the pictures all of empty lines. Again. No, I love all empty line alone pictures. again. It's the only one Iraq took. Um, you know who else had nobody in front of him? Who? Fucking the kid from Terminator there. Eddie Furlong? Yeah. He had that long line, though. Did he? Yeah. It was I like, when you I mean the kid from there? Pet Cemetery too. That's yeah, right, yeah, that okay. kid. I, there, <laughs> had a bit of a drop I, When off, I walked by, he? there was no one online. Really? Yeah, you sure it wasn't for Lin Linda Hamilton? She was I right next it, to him. I thought it was the line was for both of them. I don't know. Maybe the a double? You're saying a double? Maybe a combo <laughs> type no deal. No combo shot. <laughs> Stop it. Hey. Um... Uh, I just want to jump in here. Dave from Hate uh, Speech Radio. Just as an example of people who care about their fans, Brie Olsen signed an autograph for me for $5, and I got to feel her tits. Wow. <laughs> there you go. She's a good girl. <laughs> Eric started flipping the hell out because we passed some Battlestar Galactica cast members. No way. Previous oh. or uh, uh, new the Battlestar? New oh, okay. Oh, there, there were two. Because I saw. There uh, were, yeah, there were t uh, Boomer from the old series. Boomer? The, Never saw the old yeah, series. Yeah, but... from the old uh, Battlestar Galactica. And uh, what's her name there? Uh, was also there from Buck Rogers. And the guy from Buck Rogers. Aaron Green. Yeah. Uh, who's the guy that played Buck Rogers in Buck Rogers? I don't know his name, but John he's Wayne? There. No. <laughs> Hold on. It'll probably pop up here. Uh, Gil Gerard. Thank you. Oh, Gil Gerard. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Gil Gerard was sitting there. No line. Yep. Looking like Gil Gerard's great grandfather. And uh, he was shoving food in his mouth out of this little styrofoam oh, thing. Oh, you don't just, want to yeah. see these guys like that. And I looked just going like, oh, oh. Is that him <laughs> sweating? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's Gil Gerard. That's Buck Where are Rogers. these pictures? They're all over, Dan. I mean, there's one. The one Virgil picture is on Erox Twitter, but other than that, it's just a Google. Yeah, this image. was just Google image, yeah. All right, just Google it. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Wopat when I went had no lines. He was just <laughs> surfing on his laptop. I'm embarrassing. Oh, uh, that's humiliating. Because the Ernie, line was all next to John Schneider. <laughs> it's very yeah, John Ernie Hudson. Schneider. Because John Schneider's got like fucking Smallville people and shit like that. And then what does Tom Wopat have? Oh, I did the revival of fucking some shitty show on Broadway. He's got a lot of things going on. He's in a jazz trio now. Oh, stop.